It's Independence Day in Washington, D.C., and Bureaucrash is on the scene outside the Capitol building, interviewing participants in a Tea Party protest. Yeah, right. we're here with Kelly. We're going to ask her a couple questions about freedom, Fourth of July, Tea Party protests. All right. All right. So, Kelly, what brings you here today? I'm here because I just feel like our government needs to restrain itself, to stop spending, to live within their budgets just like the rest of us have to. Very good. Uh, so, is freedom something that's important to you? Absolutely. Yeah. I love our Constitution. I think America has a really good system. Yeah. So, uh, what brings you out today, Jeff? You know, I have just seen so much change in the past six months and the way our country is, is going, the directions it's headed. At. And I thought that me and hopefully, you know, hundreds or thousands of other people were going to come out. I'm pleased that we are here. Very good. Uh, what, uh, what, what about freedom is important to you? Well, Why? in my mind, you know, I mean, the, 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 the easiest way to say it is that smaller government is better. But what you look at and see happening around us is that people are becoming more and more dependent on what the government is offering, and they don't recognize the slippery slope they're going down. So the importance of freedom that comes out of that is the more dependent we become, the less opportunity we have to make our own choices, to do our own, uh, to take our own actions, and eventually everything becomes run by a monolithic organization with absolutely no input from the people at the bottom like us. Hey, we're here with Jennifer today at the July 4th Tea Party, uh, you know, spreading freedom, fighting tyranny, all that good stuff. Uh, so, so, Jennifer, yes. uh, what brings you out here today? Well, it's America's birthday and we want to defend the Constitution that our um, founding fathers founded this nation on and to remind the government that they need to be held accountable to the supreme law of the land. Very good, very good. Uh, what's your favorite part of the Constitution? Oh gosh, where do I start? Um, of course, the First Amendment, which I'm exercising today. Uh, uh, why have you guys come out here today? Uh, well, we feel that the government's, you know, taxing us too, too much, punishing the hardworking people, and All right. I think if you work hard, you deserve that money. I mean, they, a lot of people say that people don't deserve all the money they get for beating major corporations and stuff. Well, right. the average person doesn't run it, you know major business like that that's a big thing they deserve the hard work that they're doing and the money they get and then with the health care I'm completely against socialized health care government health care because what do you want to be put in a waiting list if you're too old or if you don't make enough money you have to wait that's, right. I've seen, yeah you just basically be a number to the government and your health doesn't matter like I'm just completely against all of that I just, how do you guys feel about like um, your health care records being stored in a government database yeah I don't like that either they don't need to know that stuff. That's right. all private. That's between me and my doctor. That's yeah, I say. exactly. The right. government's just trying to get their hands in everything, and it's. I feel we are, you know, moving too much to a socialist country, and it's. You know, the government's supposed to be run by the people, not the government running the people. Man, it's just. They they think that they're doing a good thing. I mean, I'll acknowledge that, but they're going about it in a terrible way, and it's just not not the right way to do it. The more freedoms we have, the better we are. Well, I actually heard the crowd. I, I, uh, I believe in uh, marijuana legalization, so I was going to a rally for that, but I heard this and I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. Uh, in all honesty, I voted for Obama, but I am not uh, happy. <laughs> uh, a lot of things he did uh, really let me down. Um, I wasn't happy with some of the continued uh, Bush policies. I mean, some of the things, uh, that was, you know, all this thing that he was doing is, is uh, I think it is sort of bordering on socialism and that drives me crazy and uh, I believe America is a free market and uh, you should be able to make as much money as you want in this country and uh, you know and I just think that there's all these special interest groups that are just kind of they're just clustering everything together and they're, and they're suffocating our democracy and I, I believe uh, I believe a lot of things that Ron Paul stood for, and I really was uh, happy for him. I just was really disappointed that he didn't get to go into the debates. So, uh, right. so you've been to the Who at all? Oh yeah, yeah. You'll so, uh, you'll see on my YouTube. You'll see like I wear like all kinds of rock T-shirts. One of them was the Who. So. Right. Come meet the old boss. Same as the new boss. Exactly. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that says it all. Yeah. Still talking about it. That says it all, folks. <laughs> we don't get fooled.